Lakshmi Tantra, Chapter 19, The Origin of Letters I am the primary total eyehood of Hari, characterized by Sisriksha, the creative urge. Being the Supreme Shakti manifest as creation, I become creatively active. O delight of the gods, I have fifteen similar dasha, states of existence, corresponding to the fifteen vowels a, a, e, e, u, u, ri, ri, li, ri, a, i, o, au, n. The process of cosmic evolution is exactly mirrored in the alphabet, akara being the root and all subsequent sounds and letters being projections or transformations of it, and each successive sound is the effect of the preceding one. The eternal essence of myself as vach, speech, is akara, letter a, which is primary and self-revealed, is consciousness and the root of the entire domain of speech. When the same akara develops into the ananda form, a, it is regarded as the second vowel. The third vowel appears as icha, i, and the fourth as ishana, i. The fifth is unmesha, u while the sixth is said to be urja, u. The four middle vowels, ri, ri, li, li, are modifications of e, e, u, and u, respectively. Combination of the first vowel, akara, a, with e, produces ekara, e. Itcha, combined with ananda, a ah, is called Jagadyoni, Ai. The combination of Akara, A, ah, with Unmesha, U, indeed produces Okara, O, which, when combined with Akara, produces the sound Sadyojata, Au. Thus, all these sounds that ultimately relate to objects of knowledge are derived from the first vowel. The thirteen vowels from Ananda to Sadyajata are specific elaborations of the first sound. When these thirteen developments reach the stage of representing nothing but knowledge itself, their final and most subtle stage, the fifteenth vowel sound ng emerges. The first vowel, a, represents the avyakta, or primordial state of creation. The thirteen modifications of akara represent the created states. And ng represents the final annihilation of creation, when even the primordial nature is dissolved into the ultimate principle of consciousness, or in other words, when nothing save Brahman exists. These fifteen states represent the results of the first creative efforts of Shakti in cosmic creation. Because the divine creative Shakti's urge to create, furnished with these fifteen limbs, she becomes active in creating each specific object. From me, engaged in the function of creating, emerged the twenty-five tattvas, cosmic principles, beginning with Purusha and ending with Prithivi, as well as the corresponding sounds and letters from Ka to Ma. Each principle emerges from the manifestation of its correlated sound. The last four sounds, Ya, Ra, La, Va, are named as the fourfold Dharana, 
deep meditation with the mind fixed on a single object. As these are themselves composed of purusha, they are regarded as dharana. Ka to ma represent the self's material state of differentiated existence. Sha to ha and ksha, its unpolarized absolute state. Ya to va, its intermediate state, when through meditation it descends from the absolute to the differentiated state. Yakara, consisting of a particle of Shakti's active aspect, is called Vata, Refa, Ra, being Vidya, learning, which consists of a trifling fraction of her Jnana aspect, is named Pavaka. Lakara, La, representing Maya as a combination of insensibility and delusion or infatuation, is regarded as Prithivi. Vakara, which in essence is joy, is called Varuna and represents Raga, bliss, Shakti. Those versed in the philosophical realities should view these four dharanas as the support of man in between his two states of existence, para and apara, the absolute and the relative. The letters sha, sha, sa, ha, and ksha represent the fivefold pure Brahman, Satya and the four Vyuhas. O Lord of the gods, Sha, Sha, Sa, and Ha should be regarded as representing Aniruddha, Pradyumna, Sankarshan, and Vasudev, respectively. That wonderful form that I assume when I feel the stir of activity at the very commencement of creation is the powerful Shakti which is the soul of the letter Ksha, otherwise known as Satya. The five divine Shaktis, beginning with Prithivi and ending with Vyat, space, the five cosmic elements, states of matter, earth, water, air, fire, and Akasha, represent my divine existence principle. The five attributes Bala, Virya, Tejas, Shakti, and Aishwarya. These five Shaktis are represented by the letters Sha, Sha, Sa, Ha, and Ksha when I am creatively active. Visarga, Aha, formerly described as possessing 15 components, A to N, represents myself when I consist of Soma and am surrounded by billions of rays. O Purandara, Bindu, N, and Visarga, Aha, representing the sun and moon, are my contracting and expanding states of existence. Bindu, N, represents the state of dissolution, and Visarga, Aha, represents the state of creation. The last of Soma Shakti's fifteen limbs, Bindu, N, is Surya, the sun, which is receptive in nature and the swift destroyer. Each of these two luminaries possesses seven rays, so the remaining vowels are construed as seven pairs. O Purandara, of these seven pairs, the first seven sounds, A, E, U, Ri, R, A, O, are the rays of my sun form, in which I am then called the enjoyer, and my rays are Shoshaka, the absorbers. The other seven sounds, A, E, U, Ri, L, I, Ao, of the seven pairs are the cool, pleasant, and nourishing rays of my moon form, 
I am then called the object of enjoyment. Light, sharpness, pervasiveness, grahana, assimilation, the mind's capacity to grasp, kshepana, projection, irana, agitation, and paka, maturity, are the characteristics of the seven rays emanating from the sun. Fluidity, coolness, calmness, loveliness, contentment, delight, and bliss are the characteristics of the seven rays belonging to the moon. The great Srishti Shakti Mahananda, adorned with clusters of millions of Shaktis, resplendent with these rays consisting of Agni, Surya, and Soma, the moon, and manifesting herself by embodying the person in the form of Bindu, which represents the state of existence, making him her own, appears actively as the final vow. Aha! O Lord of the gods, this fivefold Brahman, starting from Ksha and ending with Sha, issuing from her the Kriya Shakti called Agni Soma Shakti, is now active and characterized by a further manifestation of Shakti. Ksha represents the great agitation that precedes creation and is known as Satya. Ha goes by the name of Vasudev. Sa is the manifestation of Sankarshan. Pradyumna is represented by Sha and Aniruddha by Cha. Manifestations of these five sublime Shaktis inherent in the fivefold Brahman and identical with manifestations of myself are the causes for the appearance of the universe. They stand in a similar relation to me, who am Brahman, as the power to burn stands in relation to a mighty fire. The four created dharanas, the sounds va, la, ra, ya, represent, O Purandara, the four states of consciousness, Turiya, Sushupti, Swapna, and Jagrat, respectively. Between the Brahman state and the created state, the dharanas are imbued within the person. In between the Brahman state and the Prakriti state, beginning with Bha, is the state called Ma. The person is regarded as having four states of existence and consciousness, Turiya, Sushupti, Swapna, and Jagrat, vested in the four dharana. If he were not thus inherent during these transitional states of existence, the dharanas, the person would be either in the Brahman state or the created state, and no movement in the samsara would be possible. Therefore, at my bidding, the dharanas are manifested out of myself. Hence, the individual person, known as Bhoktra or Jiva, represents a fourfold state of existence and consciousness. Ma, capable of enjoying the fruits of the Jiva's activities, and at the same time capable of achieving emancipation, is a direct offshoot of myself, O Vasava, for the purpose of creating objects of enjoyment for the individual to delight in. The insentient, supreme, subtle equilibrium of the gunas, regarded as peculiar to the womb, has spontaneously emerged out of myself as Ba. To provide the enjoying sage, the jiva, with objects of enjoyment as well as the acts of enjoyment, O Purandara, all manifested objects have gradually evolved from me out of the group of sounds ranging from Ba to Ka. These are twenty-three in number. Buddhi, Ahankara, and Manas are created from the three sounds Ba, Pa, 
and pa. The five cognitive senses, the ears and other organs, are represented by the sounds from na to ta. The five conative organs, speech, etc., are created from the sounds na to ta. The five element potentials, such as sound, etc., are created from nya to cha. The subtle elements, such as space, etc., are created from nga to ka. Bodha, knowledge or insight, appears as identical with sound, and sound as identical with the objects connoted. Considering that bodha is one of my aspects, it follows that all the above-mentioned sounds are projections of myself. O Lord of the Gods, this path of sound, sonic creation, representing the intermediate way, has thus been revealed to you. Now hear me describe the first and last courses.